This is called Dust of an Ordinary Star. I walk the dog. We two alpha females hike the hills and imagine ourselves trotting over the tundra with the pack following, bringing home a caribou for the whole tribe to share. When the phone rings, I'm the older sister. I research the family diseases. I'm supposed to keep secrets, so I try not to remember what I'm not supposed to know. Sometimes my thoughts spiral over and over, and the sight of a kitchen knife fills me with despair. When this happens, my eyes feel peeled open. I sink my hands into my garden soil and feel it collect under my fingernails. I pull great handfuls of earth out and smell them when no one is looking. Sometimes I have dirt ringing my nostrils for hours, but no one says anything. The dog and I are getting older, looking more alike, sagging jaws and weird little tufts of hair. This bothers me more than it bothers her. Neither one of us is interested in chasing after men on motorcycles anymore. I'm a mother. Twice I gave birth to healthy, perfect sons. Once I had a daughter, but she was not perfect, so I cast her body from mine. When she was gone, my spine made a great lurch, and I stopped sleeping. I plant seeds. I collect leaves, eggs, and stones. I once found a jawbone with all of its teeth still attached. I lie awake at night and stare out a window. I see lights out in the forest and wonder if they are flashlights or just the sweep of distant headlights. I wonder where people go at three in the morning while I am trapped here in my bed. I send letters. They enter the secret house of the mailbox, deposits that can never be withdrawn. They settle into rectangular drifts awaiting the great paw of the mail carrier. When the sky is too loud, I head for the woods. A silent ranger, redwood pulls the sunlight down. I place my ear against her trunk and hear the settling dust of an ordinary star.